Okay, in this video, we are going to use the law of cosines to solve a side, side, side problem. Um, so we know all three sides, so we're going to have to find three angles. Um, so before we get started, let's make sure you know the law of cosines. So the law of cosines involves a triangle, and the triangle has three angles, and opposite those angles are lowercase versions of whatever letter we use. So uh, lowercase a is opposite a, and so on. Um, so the law of cosines says, for example, that a squared is b squared plus c squared minus 2bc cosine a. Key thing is, I need to find angles, and I can solve this for a. So to do, or for angle a, so capital A. Um, to do that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with uh, a squared. I'm going to move b squared and c squared to the other side. So minus b squared, minus c squared. That still equals negative 2bc cosine of a. Um, so I can get cosine of a is um, a squared minus b squared minus c squared, and then divided by uh, negative 2bc. And that means that angle a is the inverse cosine of all that stuff. Okay, so um, if you're finding angle A, make sure you start with A squared in the numerator, and you, you're good to go because everything else, it doesn't matter what order you put them in. So for example, I could find B by doing the inverse cosine of, so I'm finding angle B, so it's gonna be B squared. The order here doesn't matter, you just have to make sure I'm subtracting the other two things squared, and then dividing by two, the product of the other two things. So C will be the same thing cosine inverse of, so it'll be c squared to begin with, and then just fill in the rest. Okay, so uh, we're going to use the law of cosines to solve this. I'm going to give you a warning. So this is, this is just how I work through these problems. And the warning is this, that to be safe, if we use the law of cosines once, which clearly we're going to do here, um, let's make sure that we use it twice. So if we use it once, we're going to use it twice. Um, the reason for that is that uh, I don't want to introduce any ambiguity by using sine, because remember, Sine of a, a pot, the inverse sine rather of a positive could, is always going to be quadrant one. Um, but in the first and the second quadrant, sine is positive. So I don't know if I should get an acute angle or an obtuse angle, uh, whatever. The reasons are like complicated and I probably should have made a separate video about that. But if you use the law of cosines once, use it twice, you will never get it wrong that way. So that's my advice. So let's do a problem. So I have sides A, B, and C. So this is definitely a side, side, side. I could solve for any of the angles, I'm going to solve for angle A, so to do that I start with the law of cosines, and I just write it down. Now I'm going to go through and solve this, so this means that angle A is the inverse cosine of, um, it's going to be A squared minus B squared minus C squared over negative 2BC, so fill in the values A squared, and then it's minus B squared minus C squared, so fill them in, divided by negative 2 and then 1722 grab a calculator, it tells me that angle A is approximately 32.764 degrees. Um, now I'm going to use the law of cosines again. So some people will switch over to law of sines at this point. I'm not going to do that. Uh, I'm just going to use the law of cosines one more time and say that B squared equals A squared plus C squared minus 2AC cosine B. And so that means that angle B is the inverse cosine of, it's going to be B squared and then minus a squared minus c squared divided by negative 2ac. And I'm just filling in the actual values. Um, I use a calculator again, and I get approximately 50.056, three decimal places all the time. Um, mostly I do that to get ready for AP calculus where that's the rule, three decimal places all the time. So the sooner you get in the habit of that, the better off you are. So to be really safe, I could use the law of cosines a third time to find um, angle c but instead I'm going to do it the lazy way and just uh, know that all three angles add up to 180. So C is equal to 180 minus A minus B. Use a calculator to get this. So C is approximately 97.181. But I am going to write that warning down. Um, to be really safe, we would have actually just used the law of cosines a third time. But I didn't do it. So we're basically done. But what I would encourage you to do is to summarize your answers. So what I usually do is I make this kind of rectangular array of um, the angles and the sides and then fill in the values that I found and the givens so that I can quickly look at it and see what's going on. Um, so largest side and largest angle matchup, smallest and smallest matchup, that's always a good sign. It doesn't mean you're definitely right, but it means you're not definitely wrong because if they don't match up, you're definitely wrong. Um, and I'll show you a screenshot of my calculator so you can see how I went along and did these. And you can see um, it was pretty straightforward. I used the, the division template to make sure that everything is where I want it to be. And after I hit enter, I just take a quick look and see if it interpreted the way I typed it in to be the way I meant for it to interpret it. And it definitely did. 
And uh, so that's about it. I hope you found this helpful, and good luck.